Hello guys, this is Surendra Sreshta. I will show you how to get started with Proteus. First of all, what is Proteus? Proteus is a software tool used primarily for electronic circuit design and simulation. This software is mainly used by electronic design engineers and technicians to create schematic and electronic prints for manufacturing printed circuit boards. It is very easy to use software but may be very intimidating for some beginner users. Along with the design and print of the circuit, you can also perform various real-time simulations and obtain a 3D visualization of the actual circuit boards. For this video, I am using Proteus 8.6 SP2 build 23525 with advanced simulation. If you have not already installed Proteus, you can check out my previous video on how to install Proteus 8.6. If you have other version installs, it is not a problem. The layout is the layout may be a little different, but the core functionalities are the same. Let's create a new project. You can create a new project by clicking on this new project button here or go to file and new project. Let's give it a name. LED project. You can provide path here. I'll just select it to default. Press next. This is the schematic size. You can choose any of this. I prefer to choose landscape FO. Press next. We will be not adding PC layout, so I click next. No microcontroller project here, so press next and finished. This is the dashboard of the Proteus. For our project, we will need three components which are LED, register and a push button. To add those component, just go to this component mode here and press P button here or you can just press P button on your keyboard and it will open this window. To add a register, we just type, type RES it will show the list. I just select this RES device generic register. I press OK and it will add this register component in our devices list here. Let's add other component as well. Select this button, type in LED. For demonstration purpose, I will use this LED BIBY which is an animated by color LED mode which just turn to yellow or black depending upon the either the voltage is supplied to it or not to place this component I can either press this OK button as previous or I can double click here and it will add this device to our device this component to our device list here so that we can add our next component type push and you will see this on the top button active push button press ok to place the component just select the component and click on any of this area and click again to place it let's zoom again as you can see this is a register having a resistance of 10k but for LED we need very less resistance approximately 220 ohm or 1k also so to reduce this reduce or change this comp component value just double click on this level here and change the value to 220 or 1k as you like Press OK. Now this is a register of resistance 220 ohm. Now let's place LED here. To place it, let's perform like previous. And to join these two components, we can we have to join this wire 
which we can do by pressing on this right foremost in here and it will show the screen wire and to connect to the LED go to here and press left click button of your mouse and these two components are now connected to each other let's press push button also like this and now all those components are placed if you run the simulation by pressing this right triangle here you can see that the LED is not blinking because we have not so supplied it with any voltage so just stop to add this power supply to this circuits we go to this terminal mode here press the terminal mode and select power which is a positive 5 voltage and place it here and connect to our push button and select this ground and connect it to our LED ground here you can see that this is the negative terminal of the LED and this is the positive terminal of the LED you can see that this small line shows the negative terminal and this triangle side is a positive terminal let's run the simulation here again you can see that the LED is not blinking but it is showing here that it is connected to the ground and this is connected to the ground high um, positive voltage to, uh, it is, the circuit is not complete because the push button is not pressed to complete the circuit we just need to press this push button and as you can see that the LED is now blinking LED is now glowing if you leave this the LED will turn off you can press this and you can release the button and you can see that LED is toggling. If you like the video, do not forget to press the like button. Thank you for watching.